Hello there, everyone. The Andrada here, and welcome back to episode 46 of our Enigmatica 6 Expert Let's Play series, where today we are getting assembly going with Pneumaticraft, with our assembly machine process and everything, and then talking about our dive back into magic. Let's get started. Welcome back, my friends, to another wonderful day here in the world of the Andrada. For today, we're continuing on with our pneumatic craft, but we're going to have a problem here that's going to come up soon. Uh, just want to point this out. Our bees, they've been working swimmingly, like absolutely fantastically here. And we have a bunch of stuff. I don't know if I ever mentioned it either, but I did. Let's see if we can find the honeycombs. I did get uh, frosty bees. I went over into the undergarden uh, and I got a frosty bee and a clogged bee because we were gonna need them for something. Can't remember what the heck we needed them for now, but there was something that needed those two. Uh, so we should have both clogged. Yeah, there's clogged honeycombs and there's frosty honeycombs being produced. So we have that going for us, which is nice. So it should be on both sides, probably uh, a little bit of everything, depending on which one they decided they wanted to go into. Uh, so we have those going, and then we have this going here, which is working out well as well. And apparently we have some honeycombs stuck here. And this thing's still doing its thing. Look at all the casings we have. Bunch of stuff going on. So, uh, yeah, we got that going for us, which is nice. Anyway, so today we need to continue on um, with our pneumatic craft, but at some point we're going to we're going to need to get this set up and we're going to be diving back into magic mods fairly soon um, because I want to get into occultism and start getting the dimensional storage set up if we can and figuring out how that's going to work for us, um, which means we're going to have to dive into nature's aura again and get everything set up and we're going to have to go on a little bit of an adventure and go find our uh, blizzes our basalts and our blitz because we're going to need these uh in order to do all this stuff now there is a way to uh duplicate these essentially uh by setting up a drigme farm and having a drigme do our thing for us but the caveat with the drigme is that we need a drigme charm um, we need the moose antlers. We need wolf pelts from Atom. We have. We can make this staff of ancient knowledge. That shouldn't be too difficult. It's this thief's hood that's going to be the problem. I don't know where to. Hit, where do we get this? Where Where does a thief's hood drop from, or come from? I I, I honestly do not know. Hundred percent. No clue. I don't know if I ever mentioned this either, but I did go ahead and find a moose and set him up and uh, shrunk him there. So we have some antlers. He, he shed one antler. We just need another one. It kind of looks funny because he doesn't have any antlers right now. Uh, but yeah, it takes forever. I set that up probably about four or five episodes ago. So, yeah, it takes a while for that to happen. And then we have our Komodo dragon spit. It's working great. Our uh, moose's name, by the way, is Bob. I named him Bob. Uh, but yeah, okay, so let's go ahead and continue with Pneumaticraft because we're just about done wrapping up and getting everything, for the most part, done there for now until we start wanting to get into the armor and everything. Um, but yeah, look, I, like, I have Drigme shards because I've gotten them from quests and, and chests and stuff. I just, I need this thief's hood. I, I just don't know where to get a thief's hood from. Anyway, so we need all of the things. So we're, we're going to go ahead and prep all the stuff. So I did go ahead and from Pawa, I got our energizing rods. And I actually went ahead and made two of them because we're going to need one for our crafting process for uh, when we get into Pawa anyway. So I made one. It's going to be slow, 100% going to be slow to start out with. But that's OK. Uh, maybe maybe it gets easier to make these once we get up to the higher tiers. I'm not sure. Uh, but it just required spiders. The, the spiders was the most annoying part. I did go ahead and get, a, I think I got like eight or nine, 12, 15, 16, something like that. We have nine spider eyes left over. It is what it is. Um, so yeah, let's continue on with our stuff. So we need to go ahead and get our uh, drill set up for our um, thing here. And then we should have everything that we need to make this happen, right? Yeah, I made this. Uh, the monitor from here is fairly simple. Aluminum sheets as well as just machine base, which is just an advanced PCB. Fairly easy. And apparently you can buy this from the uh, advanced peripherals computer scientists guy, villager. Uh, but let's go ahead and teleport over to our uh, factory and then get this all started. So factory. We're going to be using our mechanical crafting and I need a button to be able to kickstart these crafts since we're not going to be filling up every single slot. But before we do that, we need to go ahead and take out our redstone and put our block of diamond in here. And wow, you need a lot of pressure. Go ahead and kickstart. Turn on. Get some pressure. 
We need oh, like four and a half. Right? Yeah, four and a half bar of pressure. Should easily be able to do. Also, we need some temperature, apparently. 500 degrees. You're currently at 50. Let's go ahead and give that a little flicker. And then we should be good to go here. Yeah, this is what I was talking about, too, by the way. My uh, This regulator it doesn't do its regulation. I thought it was only supposed to keep it at 2.1 bars. But like I said, even if I put a redstone signal here, it doesn't, doesn't work. So I don't know if I'm just doing something wrong. It doesn't really matter terribly too much. Um, did I? I'm in bag mode? I don't want to be in bag mode. Yeah. Anyway, so let's uh, let's let this get up to temperature, do its thing. We're doing good on LPG here. How are you doing on your LPG? Great. How are you doing? You are empty on everything. So we're going to go ahead and bucket up some of this LPG that we have in here. Seven, eight. Let's do eight buckets. Wish there was like a quick way to be able to do this. Because this is kind of annoying. Also, I'm going to turn off the sound of pressure being released in this area because that is. OK, yeah, that's getting annoying. Let's put everything back where it belongs. And in this area, we're going to set up an anchor here. We're going to set it to be like 16 blocks and we're going to do pressure. Jeez. Um, no, let's do pneumatic craft leaking gas. Turn that off. Goodness gracious. You still have the visual indicator that it does it, so you don't have to worry about it, but yeah. Um, can I see what's going on? Oh, it's just taking a moment. It's just going a little bit slow, but there we go. Diamond drill bit gathered, gained, collected. Now we can go ahead and probably turn these things off. If everything's sitting at a decent amount of pressure here, we're good to go. You're still not running because we don't need you until we get to plastic production here again. So we're good to go and we're good to go. OK, so let's go back downstairs to our mechanical crafter and then we're going to go ahead and use this guy to do some crafting. Uh, I do need to go into bag mode and take one of these. That's probably why I was in bag mode. because I think I had made a button last episode and then forgot about it. So we can go ahead and boop, put that there and then we need to get these crafts done. So let's go ahead and grab our iron backpack and take out our first set of items. And our first set is going to be for our assembly platform. So we're going to have two plastic sheets. Um, this is going to look weird because four across two. Yeah, we're basically going to use this little section here. Uh, compressed, pneumatic, compressed. So we're going to do compressed, pneumatic, pneumatic, compressed. And then our slabs. And give it a thwack here with our uh, hand to get our button. And then that's going to be our craft. So it's all going to meet up and then it's going to eject right out here to the side. I probably should set up a chest for collection here somewhere, but it's not that big of a deal. And there we go. That's our assembly platform. That's where all the assembly takes place. So that takes care of that. And then I'm going to do these. So I'm going to go ahead. I'll uh, get all of these made off camera because it's going to be the same process here. Like you're, you're not missing anything if I set all of these up uh, and then we'll come back when everything's done. OK, and our last item, our last item is going now. So we have all of the other things uh, ready to go. This is just our uh, control, the, the controller itself. This is where we do all the programming and tell it what we're making and stuff like that. And there we go. Bam. And that should complete off this quest. Ta da. Uh, real quick, before we go upstairs and set this up, I want to point out that I added a bunch of ore over here to be processed in our crusher. Uh, all of the stuff that our bees have made. And we had a jam here and looks look, looks like we actually have a jam again. And I don't know why this keeps happening. Is it because is this full? Something keeps jamming up here. Let me grab this cobble. And look, we ended up with all this crushed tin ore that I don't want to have in my inventory. Yeah, OK, it's getting washed and everything's working good now. OK, cool. But yeah, uh, so what happened was is this has a tag filter on it of can be washed, right? This thing is moving so fast and everything's moving so fast. Once it washed the items, they turned into nuggets and got pulled down. 
like it got pulled by the smart shoot before it could pass through this tunnel because the tunnel has a filter on it as well of nuggets only. Um, and so what I did was I set the filter up down here to be can be washed is a yes, a, a one and is a nugget is a zero. I turned off nuggets. So nuggets cannot pass through this setup period, no matter what. And so that means all nuggets will go through here. And now we're working good. We have a bunch of nuggets in our system. This thing is crushing like crazy. And we're getting a bunch of uh, resources out of this. So just wanted to throw that out there that for some reason, I don't know what happened or why. I've never had issues with this setup before. And this isn't the first time I've used the setup like this, but it did look like right now there, there's still some nuggets like in the queue like getting stuck in here and then look it's pulling nuggets now again i don't know why this should not be allowing any sort of nuggets through the system see is not tagged forge nuggets and can be washed let's do f3h let's put this back so that we don't have to worry about it are you yeah you're tagged forge nuggets so it should be it should be good to go ah oh, and because i did that all my crushed ores popped back in Maybe it was just a backlog. That's that's what I'm going with. It was like a backstuffing of what was in the chute and prepped to be dropped. Yeah, and I figures now I'm going to be. Now I'm kind of stuck with this ore, this crushed tin ore because it pulled through. Great. Maybe I can sneak it onto the thing. Nope. Well, I'll deal with this at the end. I'm going to I'll put this in here. And then at the end, oh my goodness gracious, again, what is going on? Look at this, all of these nuggets are ending up in here. I don't know why this is happening. We're gonna have to figure this out some point. Um, but for now, I guess we'll just turn the whole system off. We'll let it die out. We'll turn the whole system off and then we'll deal with it uh, next episode because there's something something funky going on. Nuggets should not be allowed to go through here. It is not tagged Forge Nuggets. So I don't understand why Nuggets are showing up here, period. Anybody knows? Let me know in the comments. We'll come back to that later because we're working on Pneumaticraft right now and that's where we're at. So let's go ahead and pop upstairs and we're going to set up our assembly drill over here. Um, I just realized I need another valve, don't I? A pressure chamber valve from Pneumaticraft. This is not something that can be purchased. No. However, oh, if we set this up, I can get 20 of them from one block of compressed iron or I have to make a hardened integral components. Well, I guess we're setting this thing up over here and then I'll move it. That, that's what we're going to do. We're going to set it up right here, and then I'll move it over there once I can get a valve thrown into that. Uh, and I probably should be able to exchange this and not have to worry about losing pressure. So what we need to do is grab our book, because i got to remember how to set this up. I don't remember if there's a specific order. I know that we're going to need a couple of input chests and output chests. Um, so let's go ahead and just pop home real quick. Let's grab our block of compressed iron, because that'll be our test is making these valves, 20 of them apparently. And then we're going to need... Um, chests we're just gonna need an input and output chest and eventually this can be automated with, refi with, with refined storage which is great but let's go ahead pop upstairs and see what we're gonna need to do to set this thing up um give me one moment let me read through this book and check out what we got and then we'll be right back all right so uh book isn't really actually honestly super duper helpful when it comes to this other than the fact that it tells us what can and can't be done uh diagonally and stuff so we're going to kind of sort of guesstimate. Uh, I did go back through and watch my own playthrough of this in Enigmatica 6, and hopefully that uh, gives me a little bit of an idea of how this needs to work. But basically, uh, certain items of these cannot be used diagonally. Drills items on an assembly platform directly adjacent to it. So we need to set up a drill. There's the platform. The drill needs to be adjacent to the platform. And then the same thing with the laser. It cannot work diagonally. Um, our import can. So if we put this here. It can work diagonally and our export also can so we can set that up i like how that thing follows me too it's like all fancy pantsy and then we can set up a chest 
and a chest for import and export. And I believe this is our setup. And if we go ahead and throw our program in there, uh, it's going to be able to do everything that it needs to do. There are two different programs. There is the laser program and then there is the drill program. And then if you only have the laser one in there, you can only do lasering. And if you have the drill one, you can only do drilling. Or if you put a combo one, you can do any craft. It doesn't really matter. So you want to you want to do all crafts. So just just make save yourself the trouble. Set it up. The only time that you would want to do differently, I, I guess, is if you wanted to separate and have two different uh, assembly lines. So you could have one just doing the lasering and then one just doing the drilling and then you wouldn't have to. But otherwise, from all intents and purposes, make the combo and save yourself the hassle. I should have some pressure tubes in here. Yes. Uh, and then you have to pr uh, supply pressure to the assembly controller, and that's the only block here. This acts as a multi-block, so we don't have to worry about setting up to anything else. We're going to go ahead and kick this on, so that way this can start getting its pressure, because it needs 3.5 bar of pressure. And you can see it says standby. That means it's ready to go. Is this going to explode? Probably. Stop. I need, I need to get security upgrades, like, on craft, because... Uh, yeah, pressure rising into the danger zone. This thing could have could have blown up. You never know. Let's add security upgrades to our to-do list. They're not too difficult to make. Uh, they are just this. It just requires those upgrade matrixes, which just requires a smoldering. And if you remember, we made quite a few of these, so it's not really that terribly difficult to make right now. Okay, so theoretically, if I put this block of compressed iron in here, are you going to do? Yes, it's going to work. So it is currently running, so you're going to see this guy. This feels very Iron Man-y, you know? I've actually seen these things operate in real life. There's a uh, technology conference that I've been to here in Florida uh, where a company sells these things for like STEM classes and stuff. And it's really cool to see that actually threw candy at me. It was kind of cool. It is very slow without any speed upgrades, though. Just something to uh, something to note. If you have speed upgrades available to you, you're definitely going to want to do speed upgrades because at its base, like, look at this. This is. This is molasses. If we're going to automate this and we're going to get other things set up, this is not going to be a uh, viable speed for any sort of crafting to the point where I don't know which one of you needs accelerated. So we're just going to do everything. There it went. It did the thing faster. I don't know what we just made. I thought that valves... Oh, this is just the drill. Aha. Uh -huh. So I uh, see. There we go. That's the uh, that's where you would want to set up different things, because I just made advanced pressure tubes, not what I wanted. OK, so let's go home. Let's see if I have enough to make a security upgrade so I don't have to worry about this thing. Just the safety tube. OK. See, that's where you would want just the drill. Great. Now I'm going to have to figure out, can I like pull the item off of there before uh, before it finishes crafting? That'd be kind of nice to know. No, darn it. That. All that talk I just said about, you know, just combine the two and then don't worry about it. It was a complete and utter lie because it just so happened that this has to have the same exact recipe. You know why you got to have the same recipe? Why you got to come from just a block of compressed iron? You couldn't be two separate different recipes. I need another compressed iron block. We're going to find out if we can take off. We're also going to get speed upgrades because like. We've gotten quite a lot of them from quest rewards and I don't want to wait for this thing anymore. Any more than we have to. Okay. So, first off, security upgrade. Get you in there. Then I can kick this on so that it can remain at pressure. And then we're going to go ahead and throw the block of compressed iron in here. Oh, look at how much faster that is. And I want to see if I can remove items off of this tray. It does not look like it. What if I got rid of that? Hey, look. Oh, look, it worked, though. Getting rid of that did the job. It wasn't able to do the drill. So that's OK. Cool. Well, it worked. That's exactly what I wanted. So now what I want to do is move this whole setup over here instead of over here. So we're going to go ahead and just break it up. And then we'll uh, break everything. 
break it all. So if I were to uh, swap this back out, if I were to open my backpack, get my exchanging gadget, and say I want pressure chamber valve as my swap a Rooney. I were to come over here. So we have 4.89 in here. Uh, it's eating the click. I'm going to have to break it. Oh, we're going to lose a ton of pressure if I have to break this. Let's go ahead and kick this off. Yeah, this thing's going to it's going to immediately lose like all of its pressure. OK, well, there's nothing else we can do, though, so. Excuse me. These have direction. Why is this not working? It didn't uh, it didn't convert as it was supposed to. There we go. I didn't. I lost all my pressure because of that. It, for, it didn't want to convert over to uh, the proper setup. So I literally just lost all the pressure because for some reason the multi block didn't form. Whatever. It happens. It's OK. We have the uh, resources, so it's not too big of a deal. Where is my controller? This is the import. This is the export. And then laser and drill. So then we just got to hook these up over here and now it'll fit a little bit better. Oh, and that's going to lose pressure because it was pressurized. There we go. OK. Now we can kick this on. Should be should be working now, right? Yeah, OK. And so remember, this is going to fill up first and then pressure is going to go over there. But we just basically lost all of our, our pressure in the system. So it's going to take a bit for this to repressurize here. But that's OK. We're not going to we're not worried about it. We're not using this to, at the moment. So we're good to go. OK, so that is uh, assembly from Pneumaticraft. And then a lot of a lot of uh, things require us to have this set up. Uh, specifically, when we get into machine frames, we need to get a rough machine frame to build into machine frames. The machine frames are used for a lot of the uh, RF tools crafting things like the coal generator, the crafting station, uh, crafters themselves, I believe. Apparently, space chambers, processors, crafters. Yep, there's the crafters, blazing infuser, uh, centrifuge casing for resourceful bees. We can set up a centrifuge and get that going. I actually kind of like that idea. I'm uh, just trying to see what else what else do we need power cells this is wireless um this or this is a big wrench yeah or that's a big uh battery power out of ender pearls that thing is a pain to set up from what I understand yeah dimensional cells network cards requires neural processors okay yeah I guess we're not getting into that you require wixie charms for any of these neural processors Oh my goodness, when we want to automate this, that is going to be a absolute pain. That is the only way to do this is to get Wixie charms. Using Dispel on a Witch while it's less than half health. We're going to have to figure out how to automate that in order to get these. That's going to be a pain. OK, anyway, uh, so that gets us our assembly done. Let's go ahead and check out our quests. And then basically at this point, we're going to have to dive back into magic. What is the cost of this, by the way? We need to go ahead and make this just to complete the quest rewards. And then medium machinery schematics requires the engineer school projects. Uh, and then that way we'll be pretty much done with this quest chain. We need to make leaded concrete. And... A pity machine frame as well and then that way we can finish off these quests and then we can go back into magic uh, but let's go ahead and pneumaticraft and collect this boop we're gonna collect this boop and then it wants us to make an advanced liquid processor which is okay except for the control circuits um, which requires a unpacked basic control circuit assembly package of a drill and then that's a laser wow that gets a 64 though batch assembly package which is improved processors, basic memory trips. We can't get into this. Okay, cool. That's what I wanted to know. Could we do it? Not right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and head home and get these other quests that we have here done. So let's grab this rough machine frame, machine base, coated machine top. Mm, kind of sort of a pain. Let's get concrete. 
I can just buy concrete. This is specifically immersive engineering concrete, not regular Minecraft concrete. So liquid concrete comes from a mix of water, clay, gravel, and slag. And that will get us, so we need to do this twice and then compact it into concrete, which will get us leaded concrete. Mm, I'm not about that life right now. I think we're gonna skip out on that for the moment. We got two more printed circuit boards. We got our pressure chamber valves. We got programming puzzle pieces used by a programmer when writing programs to a drone or network API. Put them in an inventory adjacent. That's for the drones. Um, we're not there. Just cleaning up inventory here. Okay, so let's take a look at our quest. Let's see what we need to do. Um, so in order to get this, we have to do that. We're not there. Let's go up to our um, computer science. So we need to get a controller from refined storage going, though we do not n have nearly enough power to use this. Because if I remember correctly, this thing uses like the, the whole setup uses like 2000 RF per tick. Plus, we got to get this slime steel. Uh, we need to get logic units, which we can make the vacuum tubes now. That's easy enough. Slime steel should probably be easy enough. Yeah. Really, to be honest, that's the only super crazy expensive part of this is the uh, all these advanced processors. But that doesn't even require diamond anymore. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It does because to make the enderium. But remember, each enderium is going to break down into three coins. So that's actually not terribly too bad. So we'll work on getting that going. Uh, we only ever need to craft one refined storage controller. But we need to dive back into our magic section. I think that's where we're at. Yep. So what I want to do is uh, we're going to have to go adventuring. I can't do anything until I can get these lightning charges, these earth charges, and these blizz charges. Uh, and in order to get all of these, I got to figure out first off, where do these things spawn? I'm pretty sure blizzes. Uh, or is it basalts? Something spawns in the desert. Something spawns in the I, I think blitz spawns in the desert. Uh, blizzard the blizz spawns over in our snowy area over here so we should be able to get that and then the last one which is the uh basalts will spawn in basalts deltas which we do have one somewhere i know i went through one because that's how we got our first batches of quartz it's just a matter of where in the world is carmen san diego and the basalts. Okay, so here's basalt. So we can fly down here and get this. The only thing that we have not found is a desert, but I do have my nature's compass. I just don't have it on me. I also have an extra charging station. This was the charging station we had up there that I disconnected because we needed more uh, power. Okay, let's go and get our nature's compass. Now we need to program it for a desert, and then uh, next episode we can go ahead and we're going to do a little bit of exploring. Compass? Am I just, oh, I am, YouTuber blindness. It's a real, it's a, it's an epidemic. Uh, you can go away, you can go away, you go here. Yeah, you can go there. This crushed osmium ore we're gonna have to deal with uh, later. And we have our backpack, which has nothing in it. I can turn off advanced tool tips, by the way. Empty, okay, so we need desert. Wow, 5,000 blocks away is the nearest desert, that is quite far in the northerly direction, which is the one way. Uh, oh, no, I guess I did. We can teleport over to bamboo. That's a good thousand or so blocks away, right? No, that was like a hundred. Are you kidding me? I was only like a hundred blocks away from here. That can't be right. I got a long way to go, apparently. Okay, well, all right, so that's going to be the end of today's episode. If you enjoyed, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to head off to this desert uh, and see what we can find. And if I find anything interesting uh, for next episode, we'll come back. Apparently, that bamboo is still sitting here in the world from where I broke it before. So I guess I'm going to collect that. You would think that would have despawned. It's a little concerning that there's still bamboo here. Or did it just break when I teleported over? I don't know. Anyway, um, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.